Hello dear friends, I'm Robert Muganga, teacher of history. Today we are going to discuss on totalitarianism in Europe or totalitarian regime, regimes in Europe. But we will focus mainly on fascism. And if you want to know more about Nazism, subscribe to our channel you will find it fascism and nazism well categorized as totalitarian regime what is totalitarian regime totalitarianism or totalitarian regime is a political system that recognizes no limits to its authority and strive to regulate every aspect every aspect of public life and private life where feasible they give no freedom to the people they give no freedom to the people this totalitarian regime came in Europe mainly after First World War. One totalitarian religion is fascism, another is Nazism. Fascism in Italy. What is fascism? What is the rationale behind fascism? Who was the pioneer of fascism? in Italy. Let's find out. We are going to see or to watch the video, short video of Benito Mussorin while delivering a speech. Yeah, as you can see, this man who was speaking is Pentom Solin, the founder or the pioneer of fascism. Fascism, what is fascism? Fascism was a movement that emerged in Italy during First World War before spreading to other European countries. This fascism was under Benito Mussolini, as I have been saying, with the symbol of fascism. What is fascism? What is the rationale behind fascism? What is the meaning of fascism? But what I can remind you is that the elaborated ideology of Benito Mussolini is to rebuild, to rebuild ancient imperial Roman power. Ancient imperial Roman power. So it's a symbol of power. Remember, in the Roman civilization, Roma was once a powerful empire in the world. So Benito Mussolini promised Italians that he is going to rebuild Italy as Roman Empire was. Let's see the symbol. This is the fasces. It's a bundle of the sticks with an axe. This axe symbolizes power over life and death. It also symbolizes the power 
of Roman Empire, the power of Italy. Factors that led to the lies of Benito Mussolini and fascism in Italy. Benito Mussolini, who was born in 1883 and died in 1945 during Second World War, was once an Italian dictator who rose to power after First World War, and he was a prominent reader of fascism. He came mainly as a revolutionary socialist and formed a wing. During 1922, Victor Emmanuel decided to appoint Ben Tom Sorin as a prime minister due to the masses pressure. Due to the masses pressure as we are going to find out them. This is Ben Tom Sorin, as you can see. Ben Tom Sorin again. Factors that led to the lies of Ben Tom Sorin. Factor number one negative effect of First World War. Why this First World War was uh, the factor for the lies of this man? I can remind you that during First World War, Italy was also among the fighters. During this fighting, Italy lost 600,000 people. It also experienced economic decline, as you can understand. There was destruction of properties like industries. There were migration of people. There was no favorable climate for investment. All this made Victor Emmanuel, King Victor Emmanuel, the king of Italy, become unpopular. And this availed fertile ground for Mussolini to rise to power as he took this opportunity to mobilize Italian masses. Corruption and embezzlement of public funds as a second factor. This corruption and embezzlement of public funds was done by government of this King Victor Emmanuel and his government. The ministers, the higher officers, took bribes and embezzled public fund shamelessly in a broad daylight. They are corrupted, and you can understand it. Corruption is one of the hindrances to the development. That's why this corruption and embezzlement of public fund made Victor Emmanuel unpopular. Hence, soft landing for Mussolini and the fascism to power. Influence of socialist and communist party. Influence of socialist and communist party. The rich middle classes and businessmen supported Mussolini. Why? Because Bento Mussolini promised those rich people to destroy socialism. I can remind you that socialism is a system of economy where uh, public properties must be shared equally among people. There must be no big disparities among people. While rich people, businessmen, wanted capitalism, where they want to maximize their profit. 
So if they find man like Mussorin who promised to destroy socialism, they decide to support him and this gave him confidence during his rise to power as he had support of these rich men who would give him financial support, hence rise to power. Weakness of King Victor Emmanuel III. This man was weak. Why? He failed to solve people's problems. He failed to solve Italian problems like inflation. After First World War, there was an inflation. There was unemployment, there was violence, and these problems was not solved. And if you are the king of the count, the kingdom, if you are the president of the country, and you are unable to solve people's problems, it will lead to criticism to your government. Hence, aid the lies of your opponent. That's why Benito Mussolini profited this occasion, profited this opportunity to rise to power. Another point is absence of unity among members of different political parties. This unity. This unity among political parties. There were no unity because there were communists and non communists. There were always disagreement. Some part of people supported communism, while others wanted communism to be stopped in Italy. That's why. There were disagreement. If people had disagreement, it would not be possible for them to reach their goals. And that is the moral lesson for us. We have to strive to achieve our unity. And if we have something that we are not agreeing on, it's better to find the solution as well as possible, as quick as possible. This disagreement gave opportunity to fascism as it gained 22 seats in parliament. And this encouraged Mussolini to rise to power. Next, Bento Mussolini's personality and oratory talent he, is, he was like Hitler. He was a gifted by nature in making sensational and appearing speeches. Able to mobilize. Able to sensitize. Able to convince while speaking. And this aided him and his party to rise to power. Role of fascist terrorist group. The fascist terrorist group was called Black Shirts. This Black Shirts was a secret group that caused that brain chaos in Italy, violence in Italy, but secretly. However, they are the one. They were the one also to denounce government as he wa it was unable to solve this chaos, to solve those problems and violence. And this gave them opportunity to rise to power. Let's watch critically the speech of Benny Thompson, but a short speech that show us how he was a good orator. 
Ricchi attraverso i suoi troppo reiterati e forse troppo categorici giammai. while speaking. Another factor that led to the rise to power is disappointment of Italian patriots from this 1919 Versailles Peace Treaty. I can remind you something. During First World War, Italy had fought on two sides, on triple intent and triple alliance. It first fought on the side of triple alliance, but later joined triple alliance as this triple alliance promised Italy that after the end of this war, Italy will be renumerated with territories like Trieste, Adoria, Triento and others. But however, 1919 Versailles Peace Treaty poorly rewarded Italy. That's why this promoted, prompted, prompted, sorry, the masses to accuse the government of this King Victor Emmanuel to be weak, unable to find solution to that problem, how can we prom be promised something and you are unable to go and uh, ask for it as it is a promise, hence fascism. The May 1921 parliament election, this election give opportunity to fascism as it won 25 seats in parliament. It was a big step forward to fascism and Mussolini also. And they gained courage to advocate the downfall for the king Victor Emmanuel. You can understand it easily if you have some people in parliament deputy and senates who are able to speak for your political party it is now possible for fascism to rise extreme nationalism in italy this king this man uh, sorry ben tom sorin promised italian masses to return to bring back the ancient Roman Empire status. To bring ancient Roman Empire power, to rebuild Italy as the Roman Empire. This gave Italians more hope and nationalistic feelings to this man and they decided to support him as he promised them to make Italy a superpower. Pope Pius XI and the Roman Catholic Church. This Pope and Catholic Church, especially through this Pope, 
the Catholic Church was a good supporter to fascism and Benito Mussolini. Who would support, who would fight against communism? It is now understandable. We are in Italy, the headquarter of Roman Catholic Church. Pope was the head of Catholic Church. And this Pope mobilized the masses, Catholic Church members, to support Ben Tom Sorin. This gave Ben Tom Sorin opportunity to use these masses to rise to power. The successful fascist march to Rome in 1922. This march to Rome was conducted by black shirts plus other supporters of fascism. They moved from Milan to Rome. Milan is one of the Italian city and Rome was also the Italian city but they had the headquarter of Catholic Church. This march was conducted on 28th October 1922. And this created the state of panic. King Victor Emmanuel became disappointed. He had panic and fear. He, were, he worried about the situation and decided to appoint Bento Mussolini as the prime minister. It's very amazing having a prime minister from opponent having prime minister from opposition. Something that shows us how the situation now become easy for Bentum Sorin to rise to power. Another point is the Italian army and the police forces. This Italian army and policies would have stopped Mussolini soldiers and the supporters who called out intimidation and uh, terrorism among people. However, they didn't stop his soldiers and the supporters. They greatly, they abundantly helped Mussolini to rise to power due to his elaborated ideology. Another point is the weakness of League of Nations. This League of Nations is uh, the, the current, uh, at that time, is the current international peacekeeping body that would have stopped those security problems in Italy. However, in its weakness, this League of Nations had no army. They had no international army to stop those crises and this encouraged Mussolini to continue his process to rise to power and threatening the government of King Victor Emmanuel III hence rise to power. Another factor that helped Bento Mussolini to rise to power is a fascist propaganda through speech and using newspapers. This man, Sorini, had a, his newspaper called Popolo d'Italia. Popolo d'Italia was a newspaper used to spread propaganda among fascist supporters and fascism gained popularity throughout Italy, hence rise to power. This is Ben Tom Sorin. We have been discussing on his factors for the lies, like his talent, oratory talent, weakness of King Victor Emmanuel, the effect of First World War, the weakness of League of Nations, uh, the support from rich people, support from Pope and Catholic Church, among others. So, Go back in your notebook and the books.
to read more about fascism. Thank you very much. But don't forget to subscribe and share. On this channel, you will find many unity of senior three history. Thank you.